Hello there, Chaz here. No prizes for guessing what this background is from. This is just my desktop. Um, so yeah, um, this is just a little tutorial video um, a couple of days in advance because I am going to be doing a Minecraft mod pack let's play using a custom build of Resonant Rise 3 called Logistech, which is, you know, that's just what I've called it because I like using that name for fucking everything. Um, <laughs> So it's basically a tech-focused mod pack for Minecraft, um, Minecraft 1.7.10. So first of all, you're going to need AT Launcher. So you're going to go to www.atlauncher.com. You're going to click on the Downloads tab, and just scroll down here. And depending on your operating system, download the respective file. I believe you need to put AT Launcher in its in its own folder before you run it. Um, otherwise it'll give you an error and stuff, because it needs to just, like, uh, put a bunch of files into the folder that it's contained in. So bear that in mind. So you download it, you put it in its own folder, start it up, link your Minecraft account, the usual thing. This is provided you have a Minecraft account. As with most mod packs, um, I would recommend that you have, um, what is it? I would recommend that you have at least 4 gigabytes of RAM free. Because it's a fairly it's a fairly intense mod pack. Um, Eight gigabytes free would be ideal. I have sixteen gigabytes, so I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, so you've downloaded AT Launcher, and you open it up. Um, that's just a console, and here we are. I've got a couple of packs here already. Fluffy Cornerstone is just from the Crack Pack, which uh, that was one that me and a couple of friends decided to put up together for making our own little doofy Cornerstone style server. But this is the one that we're looking at, uh, Logistech Resonant Rise. Now, I have a share code for this. Um, if you're curious about how to make a share code uh, for your own packs, you know, if you ever want to share your own packs, right click on the icon, or like the, the art, and then click on share code. And it copies the share code to the clipboard. So then you can go over to the packs tab. As long as you've got an account added, I have one down here, Chas Serrier. So as long as you've got that, um, go over here, Resonant Rise Mainline, uh, which is like the second one on the list. Click on New Instance, and I'm just going to call this one Logistech uh, Tutorial. That'll do. So, version to install. Right now it's 3.2.5.3 RC Main, um, and install. So, you'll have this little thing here. I'll just clean off the there's a little bit of artifacting going on, not quite sure why. Maybe it's Bandicam's fault, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, you'll have this big list over here of optional mods. And I'm not going to go ahead and tell you all the mods that you need to select, because that would take me forever. <laughs> so that's why I've got the share code. So you click on this thing down here, use share code. Um, you get this little window that pops up, enter share code. Um, just paste that in with Control plus V. Um, and then OK, and it will automatically tick everything, including client-side mods. So there you go. Um, that's everything in order, as far as I'm aware. It's not missing anything. It's, uh, this is, yeah, everything looks in order. <coughs> Sorry, let me throw it. That's where I get some water. Anyway, install. So this takes a little while, so I'm going to go ahead and get my bottle of water. Just give me just a second. <laughs> and I'm back. So it like downloads everything, extracts it. Let me just take a sip of water. I should have done this before recording. But that's the pack. It's been installed. So you go over to instances again, and here it is, Logistech Tutorial. Now first things first. Go to Edit Mods. This is if you want to make this pack exactly the way that I have it, because I did some tweaking and stuff to, you know, to make it an easier, more chill experience, without any bullshit, like you know, stopping you from building cool things. So click on Infernal Mobs and click on Disable Mod. There you go. That's Infernal Mobs disabled. Infernal Mobs is kind of bullshit in that it spawns overly powerful enemies, even if you're just starting out. Um, I personally soured quickly to it when um, 
uh, lightning mob decided to destroy all my stuff just as I broke my gravestone to recover the stuff that I dropped when it died. So, as you can tell, I'm just like, you know what, this is bullshit. I'm just going to leave it. So, um, let's see here. Next thing you're going to do is open the folder. And then go to config. Um, here we are, config. Uh, first things first, you want to change random things. Let's see here, where is it? Uh, random things. So edit this. Um, I'm using Notepad++ just because it's easier to you know, get everything figured out. So here's a configuration file. Um, you're only like partly seeing it, but the important thing is scroll down here um, under settings. You will see if I just like move this to the side a little bit. Um, settings. Uh, Blood Moon chance. Change this to zero. Blood moons are bullcrap, and even with a 0.05% chance of one spell, uh, spawning, um, I've had it happen on the very first night, uh, when I'm completely not ready for it. So that's why I like to do that. So I'll just save this file, and then let's just shrink this, and next thing we're going to change is... This isn't particularly necessary, but I prefer it for ease, I suppose. Um, Tinker's Construct.cfg. We want to change Keep Hunger on Death to False. Uh, that's that one here. Keep Hunger on f Death to False. Keep Levels on Death is fine as it is. Um, so yeah, just save that. It's just because it's you know it's annoying if you die and then you still don't have enough he you know, still don't have enough um, hunger to recover your health when you try and recover your stuff. So it's. It's not cheating, it's frustration mitigation. So that's all that done. Um, one last thing that you're going to have to do is go back to your browser and let's see here. You're going to go to journeymap.techbrew.net and download and install. Just download the latest version. You want to download the unlimited version just because it's easier to do. So once you've got that downloaded, um, if I just go back to the AT launcher thing here, oop, wrong one, I'll just shrink this and bring this to the front, go back to edit mods, click on add mod and select and go to wherever you've downloaded the journey map jar, in my case this is in my downloads I believe. So. Let's see. Uh, there's no quick way to find this, so I'm just going to scroll through a bunch of my files here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. <laughs> ah, here we are. Drain a map 5.0.1 unlimited mc1710.jar. So click on that, add it, tick it, and enable mod. And now you have a good minimap because Journey Map is one of the best minimap mods that I've ever used. Like I, I used to absolutely religiously devote myself to Ray's minimap, and Journey Map has surpassed it in pretty much every way. So, there you go. With all that in mind, you should now have a Logistech Resonant Rise mod pack, um, and you'll be able, you know you'll be ready to play along with me when I start my series. So, thank you for watching this little tutorial video. I shall see you later.